China's most prominent political dissident, Liu Xiaobo, has died at the age of 61. The Nobel laureate was jailed in his homeland for his fight for democracy and human rights and was suffering from liver cancer. With more on this and other news from around the world, we turn to Noah Adam. Uh, Adam, Liu had been in hospital since last month. He had been given medical parole, but he passed away on, on Thursday. Now, his death will definitely sadden lots of people, not just in China, but around the world. But there are also many people out there who are furious about the way he was treated by Beijing. That's right, Mark. He is the first Nobel Peace Prize winner to die under guard since the passing of German pacifist Karl von Odzitsky in 1938. The Nobel Committee said the Chinese government bore a heavy responsibility for his premature death. He was awarded the prize in 2010, infuriating China, which tried to censor the news and also even boycott the award. Liu's supporters and close friends are accusing Beijing for what they called gross negligence and political murder. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson expressed his condolences and called on China to release his wife, Liu Xia, who is under house arrest, and let her leave the country. She was by her husband's side during the last days of his life. But Beijing's foreign ministry rejected the foreign criticism, saying its government made, quote, all-out efforts to treat Liu. Chinese authorities refused Liu's dying wish to get cancer treatment abroad despite international pressure. He was jailed several times throughout his life, the first being for playing a significant role in the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests, which ended in a bloody massacre by Chinese troops. His most recent conviction came in 2009, when he was slapped with an 11-year prison term for subversion after he co-wrote the Charter 08 Manifesto, which called for political reform. Liu Xiaobo will be remembered by many across the globe as one of China's most influential activists and intellectuals.